Hi everyone, you have reached Chronicles of the Gray Hair Diva, and I'm Cheryl. If this is your first time, welcome. If not, welcome back. All of you out there, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. And most of all, today is December the 25th. Merry Christmas, happy holidays. I wish all of you well, and I hope that you get the opportunity, whether it's via Zoom or, you know, just a, a FaceTime, you get to enjoy a moment in time with your friends and family, especially during these times of, you know, the pandemic. And if you do go for a gathering, make sure you be safe, wash your hands, stay masked up when you're not eating, and just protect each other until, you know, we are clearly out of this whole pandemic COVID-19 thing slash situation. Anyway, I had to come to you and forgive me because I'm in my pajamas still, um, but I had to get on here really quick, but I did brush my teeth, wash my face, so all is well there. I'm not coming to you straight funky, but I had to come to you really quick because I heard a little update in regards to the Real Housewives of Potomac. Apparently, Monique Samuels was offered a contract for season six. Wow. Um, I don't like for anyone to get fired, so let's back that up. Let's also add into this that Monique is not one of my favorites on the show. I don't dislike her. I don't like her. I'm not in love with her. I'm, I'm neutral. I'm in the middle ground. You know, when I see her on the scene, I see her. If I don't, I don't. So she's not one of my favorites. However, I do not condone you know, what happened this season between her and Candace with the fight. I thought it was horrific. I thought it was horrible. But most importantly, I thought the aftermath, the aftermath of how Monique responded to it was dreadful. So what I'm saying is, you know, if, you, if you're if a Real Housewives franchise, you know, watcher, you can remember way back, um, I don't know what season it was, but it was on the reunion where Kenya Moore, and um, what's name? Portia got into it, okay? Portia got into it. Kenya Moore had these props on the stage with her. She kept pointing and pointing and pointing and taunting Portia. And Portia broke down and fell into the taunt, right? They had a little floor roll. It was nothing as horrific and as dreadful as this altercation between Monique and Candace. But the difference with Portia was in that season, and go back and watch the footage with Portia and Kenya, the difference was that Portia was so remorseful, like two seconds after it happened. Portia just broke down and was like, I can't even believe I allowed myself to do this. I, I, I'm so embarrassed. I'm so ashamed. I can't believe I did this. And also after that, Portia went to counseling. Portia took the whole thing very seriously. Portia afterwards wasn't on interviews, on shows, and even after, you know, at, you know, at future reunions and stuff saying, oh, that's right, I dragged Kenya or we rolled on the floor or, you know, can I stopped Kenya from doing X, Y, Z. You did not hear much about that altercation that happened at the reunion for the Real Housewives of Atlanta after it happened. Portia was extremely remorseful and regretful for what happened and how she lost her mind over this prop now since that reunion um the um andy and bravo had made sure that no one can come to the reunion with props because i think they realized their part in the situation too you're allowing someone to come with these props and now you know you egg someone else on and yes we all should personally be in control of our own own emotions, but you know, Portia lost it. But Portia was extremely remorseful. Monique is arrogant about this fight. She has no remorse. She doesn't care. And I think Bravo asking her back for season six without at least taking some shows from her, making her sit out one, two, three shows. Now, I don't know the details of the contract. I just heard that Monique announced that she was offered a contract for season six. I, I, think it's, I think it's dreadful if she was offered a full contract and not being told to sit out a couple, couple shows, and I'm going to tell you why. Number one, you're setting the tone. You're letting her know that although she had that bad behavior, she could still come back. She taunted Candace after that fight. 
even on the reunion, she was just like nonchalant about it. Like, <laughs> oh, well, whatever. Like, I don't see it the way y'all see it. I don't feel like, you know, blah, blah, blah. But yet there is footage where she kept saying, I'm going to go back and finish her off. I'm going to go back and beat her behind. Oh, if I'm fired, I'm going to finish her off. That's what you allow them to come back? How do you expect her behavior to be if you allowed her to get away with that? I'm not saying fire her, but I am saying that if y'all do eight shows for the season, she needs to sit out for them. And I'm going to be very honest with you. If Candace does not come back as a result of Monique coming back or if they can't film together, it's not going to be the same show. It's not going to be the same show. Anytime one cast member refuses to film with another cast member, you have a dividance in the show. That means every little thing they do, when they want to have a little wine get together, one or the other has to come. Both of them can't come. It just doesn't make sense. It's not going to be the same. They go on a cast trip. One of them is not coming. It, it doesn't make sense. Like, how are we going to do a show like this? The whole shows, all of these Housewives franchise are based on everybody sort of kind of getting along and then being allowed to go on these trips together so that then when they do go on the trips together, you know, we get our normal little, you know, um, arguments or little comments because they're all together, so forth and so on. Monique has did Candace dirty this whole season five. From how she blacked out at the fire pit with the marshmallows over nothing. She had it in for Monique the whole season. I'm just, I'm just, it baffles me how some fans are just like, you know, Monique was right. Monique was dead wrong in this whole situation. They're pissed at Candace because they're saying Candace is a crybaby. So you're mad at a crybaby. But you're okay with somebody putting their hands, putting their paws on somebody else. Like, I, I, I'm I, confused about that. I'm confused about How are you mad at Candace because she's always crying, but you're okay with Monique and she put her hands on Candace? And you're saying because Candace did like this in her face, that deserved Candace getting beat down, dragged? And now Monique allegedly has a new contract for season six? Bravo do better. Rob will do better. I think, I'm telling you, at the very least, she should lose. If there's eight episodes, she should not be able to come to Florida. They did it to Nene. They did it to Nene. When Nene had that altercation where, it wasn't sort of okay, but she was pulling producers and people from out of her closet, and it went all crazy in the ray. That next season, Nene was not able to film the first three shows. So... People have suffered in the past on other franchises because they put their hands on somebody. So if they allow Monique to come back, if they allow Monique to come back and film every show for the season, they're sending a horrible, horrific message to Monique. She's going to come back on that show and feel like she can do whatever, whenever, however, and Bravo would have had condoned it let me say this as a mom monique has three children three beautiful children her family is gorgeous and so is monique and i love you know i love her whole family unit so it's not that i have a problem with monique my problem my only situation with monique is this right here you put your hands on candace it was dead wrong i i, I think it doesn't show it's not a good look, even though her kids are very young, but you know, you film is forever. I didn't show a good look as a mom. As a mom, you could just lose control like that. You're going to be in these streets dragging people, punching people in the face. What do you do at the PTA meeting? And then she has this podcast or this this group or whatever she tried to do during, this, um, during the season, um, busy moms, whatever her thing is. How do you expect to build that platform when as a mom, you're dragging people in the streets? We're supposed to support that, like, as a busy mom, like, you could just snap because somebody did like this in your face. You can snap. And so now we're supposed to support, support your business, your podcast about moms when you can't even tell us how to be in control as a mom. Bravo, do better. Monique, do better. 
And no, do I think Monique should be fired? No, you can keep her, but you make her sit out for three to four shows. Shame on you, Bravo. And I'm going to tell you right now, I like Candace and her whole, you know, thing with her mom and the house. And I love, I love her and her husband together. I think they're a cute couple. Actually, I think that show has a lot of great couples. Um, well, wait, I'm exaggerating because Ashley, the whole thing is just different and it's a mess to me. But I think Chris and Monique, nice looking, you know, couple. Um, you know, if Juan and Robin can get it together nice looking couple and definitely candace and her husband i just feel is a nice look looking couple ashley darby and and her husband that's a whole nother circus for a whole nother day but the focus is right now guys monique was asked back allegedly for season six i want to know is bravo crazy and yes you know what they can offer her a contract but i hope it's not a full contract but we have to stay tuned to see what really happens. Sorry, guys, I'm in my PJs, but it's Christmas. Forgive me. Love all of y'all. Have a happy holiday. Hug your family. Kiss your friends. Call everybody you know. Text them. Just tell them you're thinking about them, you care about them. And I hope Santa brought you everything that you wanted. Santa did right by me. I'm so excited. I'm so happy. Have a great day, everyone. I'm here making my iced tea for my family. That's my family dinner contribution. I'm putting it in some nice, friendly, um, what do you call that, mason jar mug so everybody can have their own, you know, mason jar of iced tea. So I'm doing my part right now for the dinner. Thank you, guys. Don't forget, subscribe. Like the video, share the video, tell your friends about me, come back to see all my videos, my channel. I'm trying to grow my channel and work things out here. Hang in there with me. Thanks, guys, and talk to you soon.